Hello my creative friends! Olga from Smart Art Materials here and I keep experimenting with adding a silicone to the Dutch pour. In my previous videos I got some really cool results, lots of cells and the possibilities are really endless. And today I have one really cool effect to share with you. I've done it once before, really loved it and today I just hope to recreate it on a video and share it with you guys. Um, those are the colors that I'm using and as always all the details in the description and you might have also noticed that I have plastic covering the bottom of my window and if you have done the Dutch pour before you know exactly why it's there and also I have one little secret to tell you guys today I have something really cool happening on my channel soon this is going to be a completely new format of the video and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Um, I can't share any more information for now, uh, but next week I'm going to be sharing a lot more teasers and pictures and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be sharing here on uh, YouTube and also in our Facebook group. So make sure to stay posted for the updates. And I think I said everything I wanted to, so now I'm just going to get right into the Dutch pour. Alrighty, so I have like one ounce of each color here and I'm adding a silicone only to two colors out of four. And the question I get a lot is whether or not I add silicone to my premixed paint in squeeze bottles. And the answer is no, I never do. Because first of all, I don't think it's good for the shelf life of the mixture. And second, I, I don't add silicone to all of my pores, so I don't see the point of premixing it with the paint all the time. Alright, so the next steps are the same as for regular Dutch pour and the only difference is that I'm going to be blowing from the center all the way out to the edges. So what do you guys think? What I like about this effect is that it looks like a starburst technique but with a Dutch pour instead of swipe from the center. And these lacing cells around the edges are so pretty, especially if you let them sit for a few minutes. 
So now I'm just gonna torch it out, do a couple touch-ups and at the end of the video I will show you the way it looks when dry. Alright, so it's two days dry now and I did not remove silicone yet, so you still can see some oily spots. The gold dried just beautiful, of course, and I really like this lacing effect around the edges. You know this center part, although it's not symmetric, I kind of see the shape of a heart in it. I really like that. I would love to hear from you guys what you think about today's video and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful creative day and I will see you in the next video.